Hi everyone, our next concept is low pump. So we have now studied the working of an external gear pump and it is very similar in operation but it contains very limited mating parts and these are called loops and both of these are driven externally but in external gear pump one gear was driven externally and the second gear was driven with the help of the first gear but here both the loops are driven externally and the mating part has gap so this causes pulsations in the flow and also the volumetric displacement will be high when compared to external gear pumps as we can see the gap between these two teeth is very much high hence the volumetric displacement will also be high when it is compared to with external gear pumps and when we come to the construction and working it is almost similar to the external gear pump so we can see there is an inlet port there is an outlet port and there are two lobes and it is considered it is placed inside the casing so how does the pump work actually as the principle itself says that there should be some partial vacuum created at the inlet so that the fluid will be sucked inside the pump and it is driven inside the casing and it is converted from low pressure to high pressure by the way it comes to the outlet port the same thing happens here in this low pump too when these lobes are driven externally with the help of an electric motor there will be some partial vacuum created so by this some oil is sucked from the reservoir inside the pump and as soon as this starts rotating the fluid starts flowing inside the casing as the speed of the lobes gets increased also the pressure of the fluid which is coming out of the pump will also gets increased that's it